Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In today's episode, I am doing reverse stamped flowers. So lately I have finally gotten around to redecorating my living room and I'm thinking I want to do dark green colors like this sage green which is Jane Seymour by A. England and it's part of their Tudor S collection. I don't know if it's still available on other websites but it was having a hard time finding it and it is sold out on the A. England site. What I actually wanted was a lighter sage green but the issue with that is since green isn't one of my favorite colors I don't have a lot of greens which is unfortunate. Turns out I need to get over myself and just buy green. This is the Nails by Mary Plate, which is a collaboration back when they were Bundle Monster, but it is still available on the Manonology's website. I think it's sold out at the moment, so I don't know. I'm using this flower design here in the corner. I also don't know if these are like a real flower or if it's just like a doodle flower. I'm taking Perfect Mate by Essie and I'm going to use it just to paint in the inner part of the flower. I want it to be a sort of soft pink coral color. When I was discussing my living room colors, that's what I'm thinking, like a sage green, rose tone colors, and uh, maybe like a mustard. I want something different, but now I have those colors stuck in my head, so I had to put it on my nails. Next, I'm gonna take Coconut Milk by Kale Polish, which is an off-white translucent nail polish. And that was the color I wanted to go with because I felt like it's a more delicate color. If I used a bright white, it would have been too sharp against the green. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. Sometimes when I say things, I'm like, it makes perfect sense. And then other people are looking at me like, why are you so crazy? But, you know, I like to think everything makes sense. I used a bunch of different stamping heads to pick up the different designs. That way I can kind of do my entire hand at once. And I applied clear nail polish. I touched it with my finger until it left a fingerprint without coming off of my finger. And that is how I know when the nail polish is dry enough to apply the stamp while sticking everything on there and not sticking to anything else. Once again, hope that makes sense. For the flowers that stick off over the cuticle, I'm just gonna use my cuticle scissors to cut along the edge and get rid of that excess. And once that's done, I'm gonna use my cleanup brush with acetone so that everything has a nice, clean edged look. When you have everything cleaned up to your heart's content, I am now applying my No Smudge Top Coat by Maniology. And I have to say, honestly, I'm liking this less and less. I love that it doesn't smudge my nail polish, but I don't like it as a top coat because it just kind of accentuates all the bumps. And on top of that, I apply my, my favorite top coat over top, and then during the week, it'll start to peel off like cellophane. But, you know, for at least four or five days, it'll look nice. Just like this, pretty and glossy. And that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.